Uh, so I don't know what's going on. So hold on. Apparently the dub actors they didn't know what they were getting into and learned that the sudden drop around the same time everybody else did. Oh, the anime is just hentai. So what's it called again? Uh, something review. He shows those the review. I have to look into the to the actual situation. Like so, it's a hentai. That Funimation asked to dub, and they said. It's hentai. We can't do it any, uh, anymore, right? Jesus, man. Uh, interspecies. Uh, uh, hold on a minute. What? Inu reviews saved anime. Interspecies review. It's probably about the MC going around rating how good sex is with different species. Jesus. There's literally a scene where the uh, uh, where a fox girl with a dick has <laughs> with a blonde girl with a halo. Jesus. God. <laughs> What the crap? Basically censored hentai. So it's softcore. It's softcore hentai. Is that what you're trying to tell me? Funny that Funimation gets rid of the interspecies reviews. While the other had other animes that are far worse like Testament, New Sister Devil, Ikitosin, Valkyrie Drive, and the one with Juno time travel anime. Holy crap, dude. You know? I watched that Devil Sister one i watched the first season and i got halfway through the second season uh the first episode of the second season and oh my god that was basically just hentai and i said i'm out of here dude uh and I, I peaced out but the first season was no, no better i'm like oh lead jesus lord and i and then i saw there was an uncensored version and then i'm like oh lord god damn it so uh, uh, <laughs> uh so Funimation got rid of interspecies reviewers while they were... Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. So it's borderline hentai. It's just edgy. Oh, man. Partially owned by Sony. We know how Sony is with censorship, so just saying. <laughs> Damn. Damn. Funimation sucks, dude. Funimation sucks. You know, High School DxD, I, I like a lot. I haven't watched the fourth season, but I like, I like the show. And I'm not kidding you. I've said this many times, and a lot of people don't believe me. I seriously do like it because of the plot. <laughs> no, like, that's serious. But, you know, the, the titties are nice, too. Uh, what I mostly, like, like is just, like, the whole thing between the Will's Dragon and the Vanishing Dragon. That got dropped in, like, Season 3. And it hasn't been any freaking real, like excitement for me from that show so season two ended off with a banger and uh, that was about it who liked the reviewers anime it's boring really damn dude i don't i can't see that being boring i'll tell you that right now you could say whatever the hell you want about this soft core hentai okay you can call it hentai you can call it soft core you can call it etchy you can call it lewd but i'm gonna tell you right now I can one. I haven't even seen the show. I can 100% tell you with confidence that show is definitely not boring. That is one word that you will not use when you're watching the show. All right. And I haven't even seen the show. And I can already tell. I can already tell. From the things that you guys have told me, I can already tell this show is not boring whatsoever. You probably haven't even seen it. Either because A, you don't have the means to see it, which means that you're from another country, or your computer is in the living room and you don't want your mom or your dad or your brother and your sister to be able to see you watching the show. So I recommend going to the bathroom and seeing it. <laughs> Take your mom's iPad. Remember to clear the history right afterward, okay? To be honest with you, I'm never going to watch that show. Because it's literally, like, I, I don't understand the point of that show. Uh, of a show like that, I should say. Um, there was once upon a time where I'm like, okay, that piques my interest. Because there was a show that I did watch that was borderline hentai. There was, there was one. And it's about, I'm pretty sure, actually, I've seen two. One of them I could not get through, and the other one I got through. It was freaking weird, man. The The first one that I got through was, I can't remember the name of it, but it's basically, if you guys are obscure anime watchers, you, probably, you guys probably know what this is, but it's basically the show 
where this chick steals a scroll and she has the power to steal the, the bust and the size of boobs. And she can take it into her own boobs and her boobs will, will grow and theirs will shrink by the slash of a sword through some ogi thing. So the whole show is about and you're in freaking dynasty warrior time Japan, whatever, where samurais roamed and people were freaking uh, were freaking uh, old, ancient Japan. And the, the status, your status was determined with, uh, with how big boobs you have. That's, that's how it was determined. Um, and this chick who came from a clan that everybody has ginormous, like, tatas. This chick stole a scroll that holds a secret art that you can steal the bus size and give it back to chicks that uh, you can basically reduce the bus size of some chicks. That's the show that I watched. I don't know what it's called, but it was freaking, oh my God. I could not freaking believe my eyes. I was, the reason why I finished it is because I was so amazed as to what I was watching. I'm like, okay, I've seen things like High School DxD. I've seen Princess Lover. I've seen things with nudity in it. I've never seen anything to this extent. And I'm like, so this is hentai, huh? And that was like my first experience diving into that side of Japan. Then I found another one and it was literally a show. This one blew my mind. I could not finish this, this show. With, for the life of me, I could not finish this show. It was a show where it was in modern day Japan and this dude who got super buff and super powerful by drinking breast milk. That one, I was shocked because not only did it have the craziness and the nudity of freaking of the, 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 the breast stealing one, but it also had freaking just like you drink breast milk and you get your energy recharged the same way that Dragon Ball characters get recharged after they eat a sensu bean. Breast milk, sensu bean, characters, Dragon Ball characters. Oh my god. I was shocked. I couldn't believe it. And I and I just I, I straight up stopped watching it because I couldn't take it anymore, dude. I got to the part. I don't know if you guys have seen it, but I'll tell you the part that I got to, okay? I got to the part where this chick who also drank breast milk or something like that. She was a freaking little girl, and the chick she was taking the breast milk from was a straight up just like a pedophile, but in inside of a, a woman. And this chick was giving her like like pleasures using her freaking child body to this chick that she was taking breast milk from. Anyway, at that point, that's when I'm like, all right, turn off. I right, I'm gonna head out. <laughs> so <laughs> that's exactly. Where I stopped, I'm like, I can't do this anymore. <laughs> and at that point, I took a break from anime. <laughs> I didn't watch it for a while. I came back, and I watched Nisekoi, and that was freaking fantastic. If you guys like that type of stuff, dude, I... There's a special place in heaven for you. <laughs> yeah, there was freaking female pedophilia. There was freaking, like, breast, breast milk, like, breastfeeding grown-ass... <laughs> people thank you domozilla for the for the 26 22 inches be quiet i'm talking about softcore hentai give me a second domo you won't catch me watching this freaking review show i i just i i can't do that anymore i'll pro i can do it for youtube views but i'm not doing it for pleasure i'll do anything for youtube views and for twitch views but i'm not doing it for pleasure <laughs> not anymore dude uh, let's see. Did you watch Prison School? I did watch Prison School, yes. There was some crazy fan service in that, too. From my understanding, there's an uncensored version, too. I watched it when it was first come when it first came out. Because I heard it was really funny. And it was. It was hilarious. It was pretty funny. That type of stuff, I don't mind. But it was, but it was, it was pretty freaking hilarious. Have you ever watched Valkyrie Drive? Um, okay. Remember when I said I only watched two... Uh, softcore hentais. That's a lie. I actually watched three. I forgot about Valkyrie Drive. That's another one where I was like, I need to see more. Because in this situation, <laughs> in this situation, 
it was girl on girl every step of the way. And, you know, you, co- you, you come to a stage in your life. Listen, chat room. If you're still young, I've, I've been alive. I've been on this earth for hundreds and hundreds of years, okay? There comes a time in your life where you're going to be curious, all right? Whether it be, uh, whether it be with hot dogs or with, uh, with funnel cakes. And if you want, and sometimes you just want two funnel cakes to merge into one big funnel cake. And sometimes you want two hot dogs to have to, to you know to see either sit on top of each other or just poke each other with the hot dogs okay i was i really wanted a big funnel cake so i'm like damn all these funnel cakes they're, they're everywhere there's not a single hot dog in sight and there was just funnel cakes everywhere and i was curious so i went through a funnel cake stage and yeah so yeah, I actually watched three. Anyways, that was a long time ago. That was back when I was first diving into anime. And <laughs> I watched crappy rom-coms and, like, harem, lewd, etchy stuff. And I'm like, all right, I'm more sophisticated than this. Um, oh, by the way, spoiler alerts, I'm not, actually. Why am I walking around? I could be talking and, and just doing stuff in the story. An anime about reviewing... And reviewing the, the the pleasures of sex between every uh, every other species or every species it doesn't seem <laughs> doesn't seem like uh, it's for me chief is that Naoto? oh my god it's Naoto! 